Okay, hello everybody. I'm Jolene. And I'm Jane. And we're going to be showing you how to use Google Collab to work in groups and why it's so convenient. So we're obviously just going to start off by getting into Google Collab by typing it in the search engine. Very straightforward. I think it's honestly super easy to use for um, group work. Just like if you were doing an in-class assignment, you would share a Google file because everybody can see it and everybody can work on it on the same time. This is the same exact concept. Over here, you can see that we just have some basic coding to read the CSV file. And I have previously already uploaded the CSV file, but every time that you open your Google Collab notebook, your coding will stay there but the CSV file won't. So over here, you can see that it's not there. So you have to re-upload it every time you go in there. So over here, I'm just gonna click on my CSV file and just upload it. And once that's uploaded over here, you can see it's uploading Um, and you rerun all these codes, it will work. So here you can see. But if we did not re-upload that, then these all would come up as error as DF was not defined. Um, a tip for that is honestly just keeping your CSV file in your desktop. If you just keep it on your like home screen on your laptop, it makes it so much easier for when you're doing group work because you can just easily upload it without having to find it over and over again. But you want to make sure that you have this saved onto your laptop. The file does not save in the notebook. You have to re-upload it every time you go on to here. So like, let me just show you guys that. As you just saw, I uploaded it, but I just clicked out. And now when I'm back here and I try to rerun this, it won't work because my CSV file isn't here anymore. So that's why we have to re-upload it. Also, for example, if a code says it's an error, Google Colab will tell you what you need to fix. It's so much easier to use than Jupyter, in my opinion, because they'll tell you what exactly the error is. So that's just one tip. Now you can work as a group because you can share this like you're sharing any Google Doc like I have with Jareem over here. Now she's going to show you um, that when she codes, I'll be able to see her coding. So you can go ahead and... Yeah, so let me share my screen. So I have my Google Colab drive here. So this is the file. Yeah, so I do not have the file here. So that means if I run the code, it's just not going to show up. Here, I'm going to upload it real quick. One second. Okay, it's uploading right now. Um, it's gonna take a while because it is, a oh, it's right there. Okay, so once it's uploaded and I press run, it's gonna show up. So let's try running a code from my end. And once I do that, it'll show up all the columns that I coded just now. But if she tries to run it, first she'll have to run this and then run this because if she were to just run df.columns, it won't work. But this is with every notebook, not just Google Colab, but even with Jupyter, you have to run every code. So I recommend pressing uh, run all after putting in your CSV file, because if you weren't to run all of them, um, one of the codes is gonna come up as error. That's kind of it from my end. If you wanna show how it looks from your end, yeah, right. So now we're going to go back to sharing my screen. It automatically saves, which is also really nice. Um, so we're just going to go back here and you see her coding is still there. Mine is still there. And I didn't have to do anything else. Um, if you're worried about your uh, notebook not saving, you can just click this over here. It'll usually have like a dash across this cloud. If it's not saved, if it has a check mark, you're all good. You have nothing to worry about. Um, just one more time. It looks like my CSV file did stay this time. But as a tip, like we said before, you just want to keep that on you because this will remove. Like if you if you if this tab is closed for like a day or so, it will remove from there. Um, your coding will all stay though. All you have to do, the only thing you have to do is just re-upload the CSV file. And that's I think pretty much it for this mini tutorial on how to use it for group work. Um, any other tips that you would want to share, Jareen? I think we kind of hit everything, though. Yeah, I think that's it. It's very simple. Everything saves. So, yeah, highly recommend.